When fitting your EasyDrone bagpipe drone reeds, there are a number of measures to be followed which will simplify the setting up of your bagpipe, producing a steadier and more efficient instrument. It's best to fit your EasyDrone reeds one at a time. This will allow you to compare their performance and balance with that of the reeds you're currently playing. You should always ensure that your Easy Drone reeds are firmly seated in your drones. A reed which wobbles in the drone is very unlikely to produce a steady sound. A reed can normally be held firmly in the drone by applying waxed hemp to the tapered end of the reed. This will provide a firm seating and result in a steadier drone. A good tip is to leave a short tail of hemp which will prevent the reed from falling into the bag should it work loose from the drone. In some drones, the reed seat may be too narrow to fully accept your easy drone reed. In this situation, you may, very carefully, cut off the rubber sleeve as shown and replace with hemp to allow a secure fit in the drone. Without adjusting the position of the rubber bridle or tuning screw, test the reed's strength by blowing in the drone. Tenor drones will normally produce a double tone, the first tone progressing to the second with a small increase in blowing pressure. If the double tone is too strong or the reed appears to be taking too much air, you should move the rubber bridle very slightly to shorten the tongue. Should you find that the drone is readily stopping, you require to move the bridle very slightly to lengthen the tongue. Bass drones generally do not produce a double tone. However, like tenor drones, they will stop if the bridle is set too close to the elevated end of the tongue. Okay. They may sound coarse and unsteady if the bridle is set too far from the elevated end of the tongue. When adjusting a bridle, it's important to ensure that it lies flat on the body of the drone reed and also perpendicular to the length of the reed. When you're happy with the strength of your drone reeds, you should adjust the tuning screw, thus setting the height at which your drone will tune. Turning the screw clockwise will sharpen the reed, resulting in your drone tuning higher. Turning the screw anti-clockwise will flatten the reed, resulting in your drone tuning lower. You're likely to achieve the best sound from your instrument when the top sections of your bass and tenor drones are tuning just above the hemp line, and when the middle section of your bass drone is showing approximately 40 to 60 millimeters of the tuning pin.